how temperatures are at 59, but notice the winds already beginning their shift out of the north at around 15 miles per hour. So not only does it get cold, but it gets windy. So the wind chill will be a big factor for tomorrow. Rain to our south. Now that cold air is not going to race in in enough time to have any influence on changing over this rain into any type of wintry precipitation. It's just going to fall in the liquid state already moving pretty quickly towards Prattville on towards Montgomery, Alexander City up towards Roanoke and then down towards Interstate 85. It will move north of 20. You're done with the rain. Birmingham, you're clearing out. That cold front is moving through the midsection of the Atlantic coast there. And now what we're going to see is that clear sky. Ridge of high pressure begins to dominate our weather. Sun shines back, but cold air is as well. Rainfall totals today anywhere between a quarter to a half of an inch, pretty much area wide. Still raining from Clant to Alexander City, so those rainfall totals will tick up just a little bit. But notice this. These are our rainfall totals for the month. This will make January one of the rainiest on record. We've already seen nearly seven inches in Birmingham, and the month is not even over. Almost five inches in Montgomery, Tuscaloosa over six as well. All right, temperatures are starting their transition, dipping into the upper 40s right now in Hamilton, still holding closer to 60 from Birmingham down towards Alexander City, but winds picking up anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now these are sustained. This isn't gusting winds, and so we are going to be in for a not only cold, but windy night. So future cast indicating those temperatures tonight settling at around 30. So 6 a.m. as you wake up tomorrow morning, right around the freezing mark, and we're not going to warm up all that much tomorrow. Sunday afternoon, maybe 10 degrees at best. Some places may be hard pressed to climb out of the upper 30s tomorrow, like Coleman and Hamilton. Grab the coats, you'll need them. By Monday morning, we are diving into the 20s and maybe the teens for Coleman even. And temperatures will even be in the 20s at 10 o'clock on Monday morning. And this is the wind chill. So tonight, it's going to feel more like the teens and 20s outside. Grab the coats and scarves tomorrow as you're heading off to church because 6 a.m. temperatures will feel more like 23, even though the temperature may be around 30. Afternoon highs staying in the 40s through Tuesday, and those morning lows continue in the 20s through at least Wednesday. We'll see a small uptick in the temperatures later this week, but we'll also pay the price. More wet weather on Friday. And that is a look at your storm.